TDK Ventures invests in startups to help them to be more impactful, more quickly, with less risk. We like to think about triple bottom line. The first one is financial return. The second one is strategic value. And the third one is contribution to society. And that one really matters. We're absolutely falling behind on the goal of transitioning away from fossil fuels. We're still fighting wars over energy, and we even see markets like North America, where we started early with EVs compared to other parts of the world, but we're still falling behind on adoption. In the next 10 years, the lithium battery market will be increased each year roughly 25% but still the battery manufacturer is not like a more sustainable practice. They emit lots of carbon dioxide. I think there's a lot of room to be improved. What AM battery is doing is a dry coating technology. We are using the same materials as the conventional slurry casting electrode, but we just don't use any solvents. We use a dry powder, so it's like a layer by layer deposition. In addition to lithium batteries, you can make other types of batteries, like sodium ion batteries or solid state batteries. It's much faster, cheaper, and more efficient, less carbon dioxide emissions. The state of technology is a slurry casting technology. You have to mix the active materials with a conductive carbon and binder solution. Because you have a solvent, you have to dry it, and also for the organic solvent, you also need to recover it. Based on our analysis, we found that drying and solvent recovery actually account for roughly 47% of energy consumption, also 30% of manufacturer cost. We want to revolutionize the green manufacturing of lithium battery electrodes. Surprisingly, our dry electrode actually can perform even better in terms of cycle life and also the rate performance. So our technology is very important for the transportation industry because like some of the requirements for EV batteries, including the lower cost, higher energy, higher power rate, long cycle life. So the electrode made by AM batteries, we can address all of the parts. And there's a lot of possibility. There's an engineer challenge to scale up. The width of the electrode is not wider enough. And also the coating speed is not fast enough. So that's the direction AMB we have to improve. We want to provide those dry coating solutions to the entire battery industry. Urban transportation right now is horribly broken. Deliveries are about the same. Part of the problem is we're trying to do one size fits all by using automobiles for almost every application. The reality is the average trip is one to two people, three to five miles. Filling our cities with four-door sedans and large format vehicles for every single job is not sustainable and will result in all of us sitting in traffic and gridlock for the rest of our lives. Cities can be less dependent on having automotive infrastructure, and we get to reclaim the space we currently dedicate to asphalt and parking and everything else that goes along with making a very automotive-centric design for our living spaces. We believe the smarter approach is to right-size the vehicles and apply the vehicle to the job we're asking it to do. At Faction, we began with these light electric vehicles, some of which you see behind me with these three-wheel formats. But the technology can expand across a range of vehicles. Our real belief is that the future evolution of the electric vehicle will start to see a range of them. And autonomous operation of these vehicles is one of those enabling technologies that allows you to start to look at these mixed fleets that we'll see in the future. But the traditional autonomy industry has been stuck in this innovator's dilemma of trying to develop 100% AI driving systems. At Faction, we take a slightly different approach. We combine autonomy with human operators, known as teleoperators, that can assist the vehicles when necessary. This gives us the best of both worlds. We essentially have computers doing what they're good at, 
than having humans assist them when necessary. This frees us from having to build 100% AI-driven autonomous systems uh, and allows us to get to market sooner and be profitable in the near future. And that's really what led to Faction's approach of taking lightweight vehicles and applying driverless technologies to solve our urban problems. The impact you can have not only on individuals, but on the world as a whole is extremely exciting. Tinky Adventures launched in the summer of 2019 and is focused on exploration, identifying disruptive technologies and disruptive market opportunities, and making investments in companies that can have positive impacts on society. We have already invested in 27 portfolio companies, all passionate and committed to bring a better tomorrow, both from a greener planet point of view, as well as contribution to society. People are everything. At TDK Ventures, we believe that we are here to serve entrepreneurs. And so we go out of our way to find many different ways where we can add value to directly to the people in uh, the organizations where we invest. TDK goodness is the term we use in our team to think about how do we help entrepreneurs be successful. We like to think about the value we bring to entrepreneurs from their perspective. And so we have this database of TDK goodness in the team that we keep adding up, but we only add them when entrepreneurs validate this was useful and valuable to them. If we think about the time frame of 2045, I'd like to think that we would have so many of our portfolio companies having brought the full impact to society. That probably means we have reached our goals of reduction of the temperature for the planet, we don't have as many disasters as we see today, and we have a society that is more unified, united, and happy.